Good morning, happy Sunday to all my subscribers. Um, sorry it's taking me so long to get a video out to you guys in quite some time, but here it is. I bring you a long do over day here or update on this car. Um, if you guys remember this, if you're new to my channel and this is my friend's 2017 Subaru Legacy Premium all-wheel drive with a 2.5 liter boxer four cylinders on the horizontally pose. Um, in my last video I did on this was back, I did not do the, um, the CRV video, which I'm going to do a little bit later, which is coming up at some point. Um, I did not do a 140,000 mile update video at the time because I did not have my video camera with me at the time. So I apologize for the inconvenience. So anyways, um, it is now here we are in the month of July of 2024. Almost halfway through summer already, I can't believe that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and we'll start the more, see how she does. To all that, the update and stuff in a moment. All right, we hop, if I have a seat. Galaxy Blue Metallic Exterior with the black cloth. Let's see, where's the button? Car has 150,075 miles on the odometer. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the chime real quick. I don't know if I showed you guys this in the last video. All right, let's start her up and see how she does. Starts up always, every time. And speaking of issues, we'll go ahead and talk about the um, the realm of what has been replaced over the past 10,000. Actually, it has no updates on 10,000 miles since we've since she's owned it so far. So um, let's get the air on. It's a little hot today. Um, it's actually 77 degrees out right now, so it's perfect. Um, so, so far, not much has changed with it. So... Let's show you the headlamp. The noise you're hearing is the AC compressor. All right, so a few things to discuss. So we have issues we'll go ahead and talk about. Um, the realm of what's been replaced over the past few months or so is that um, we owned it. We bought around 130,000 on it. This was an X rental. As much as we as car enthusiasts we really care about, we'll never get an X rental, as you can see. Um, an update on this recently, um, as you can tell, um, you can see by that, it's way too much. You can see right there, I don't know if you guys can be able to see it, but yes, we actually got the car inspected back in May. So I think pretty good. Um, overall, the car's been doing good. Um, the car, or the key got locked in there in Greenfield, Mass once, cause, so the, the towing company had to come out and take care of that so let's see under there and stuff so let me show you under the hood while I'm out here underneath that hood you have a 2.5 liter dual overhead can box your four cylinder and it does have variable valve timing combustion whatever that is I should correct it in my last video if I was 182 horsepower 170 in terms of torque but it's actually not it's 175 horsepower 174 in terms of torque Power is sent through all four wheels through a CVT. I, would, I wish they would bring back the automatic or the manual transmission they put in these cars. It's expected for that. I think the whole capacity weight is around, uh, I don't know what the capacity is, so let me know in, in the comments. All right, so stepping back inside, I'm a huge fan of the color, the galaxy blue over the, um, the black cloth. Stop. Seat. Shut door. So this is a new steering wheel first came out for 2015 because the uh, refresh. Oh, I know a lot of people had comments in the comments of why I have this on here because over time the, the logo scratched on it. So that's why I put it on there just to make it a little bit better. 
Um, but Lockley 2015 gave us a new steering wheel because my girl, my ex girlfriend, had a 2014 Legacy. Had a steering wheel atrocious, so I figure it looks a little bit better. But I like the 2015 steering wheel a little bit better. To the left, you have your automatic headlights to the left, and your intermittent speed wipers and no rear wiper control. So that's good. Here's your Ray. I'm tired of seeing this in Subaru vehicles nowadays because you never know what you might expect. This is basically a lower trimmed outback a little bit. So, we're trying to parking brake for that. So, of course, here's all your stuff. Here's your shifter for your CBT with manual shift mode right here. I think it's like six simulated gears or something like that. When you put it in reverse, it's got a backup camera. I think it was fairway mandate through about 2017 this year or something like that. It's, well, e brake is electronic. Here's your downhill sync control right there. Um, radio still works. I'm not going to play because I don't want to get copyright. Because trust me, I've done that many times before. So let's hop in the back seat. We'll show you the back seat. Let's see what it's like. I make this quick because um, my video is going to run out of time pretty soon. So here's the back seat. As you can see, if you can't see a dirty car, please do not watch this video. Um, tell by the no, magic tell by the looks of that. But you have your rear cups in the rear. Also, there was an armrest. Cloth seems to be still in good shape still for being 150000 on it. Pop the trunk. As you can see, not much space for that, but no bulbs out. Here's all your stuff in the back, as you can see. What I've been doing is I like to grab this, and I don't have to put my hands on that. But it always works when it does. Let me show you under the hood one more time before we wrap up this video. Or we forget. Yeah, I need that hood. You have a 2.5 liter dual overhead cam, four cylinder, also has a horizontally opposed engine, 175 horsepower, 174 in terms of torque. Power center, all four wheels, your CVT. And uh, here's your battery. It's a brand new battery. It's a little rusty in spots, but uh, it's pretty good. All right, so that's going to conclude for this 2017 Subaru Legacy Premium All-Wheel Drive. Um, I will be doing a hundred, no, two hundred thousand mile update on this Honda CRV before it goes, before it goes. Um, the, the 97 Honda Civic that's sitting over there right now, um, I'm still waiting to hear back from a, a, my friend of mine's fought or. A father of my friend is going to pick up this car eventually, so um, it's still been staying there for for years and stuff. So yeah, so that's it for that. So I'll do a hundred, no, two hundred thousand mile update coming up on the CRB if I ever get a chance. So thank you for watching and subscribe today. Who knows what could happen in the future? Take care, guys.